Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading the colony section yet again for a new System Wars. That's right, we are going for System Wars 5B. Uh, we do have five. the path A. We chose the A path, which is the attack path, uh, and we will be continuing the story. Uh, but first we're going to be doing 5B and 6B, uh, just to see the path unchosen. Um, so we are going to start here, and then we are going to go back to... Or we're going to do 5B, 6B, then 5A, 6A. Um, this being said, uh, I had a malfunction with some recording. Uh, I actually started my recording and accidentally closed the uh, application instead of tabbing back in. Um, so I have done a large chunk of this, and it does take quite a bit of time. I'll actually show the play log. Uh, it does take multiple hours to do the nullification. So we are going to skip on full nullification. I will show you the assault at least, because I did save that off as a, a separate thing. Uh, so I'll show that, but we're not going to do the full nullification because it will take quite a while um, and I'll explain everything about that um, some family on the planet exactly four seconds before the planet blows up three two one happy new year boom now we are on a rock flying at Mach 20 towards an unexplored moon ETA 10 minutes and there's creeper in space again um, when I say you I mean the commander from planet wars well, commander from planet wars go us um, who thought this was a good idea wait damn it Objective, survive. Um, so that is our objective. This is the map. It is, uh, it's, it has little connection points between every single zone. So they are all connected, but there are clear holding areas, um, which is quite good. We have our lovely KV at the bottom right there. And uh, yeah, we have to get to that. One thing to note, pylons don't reach. There's no urns on the map. If there was one urn, we could easily earn a pylon, get down there. Can't do it, can't do it. So we will have to work on that. Um, one thing that is a plus note out of, uh, me doing this is it did spur me even more so. I, I am looking to upgrade my, upgrade my system, uh, which will include, uh, probably a new microphone and things like that as well. Uh, so I am looking forward to the upgrade-a-thon eventually. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the next few weeks I am, I'm gonna try and get things on deals and things like that, but having, maybe... A, a system with two monitors so i don't ever do that again <laughs> will help <laughs> um so fingers crossed that that happens in a timely fashion so here we go here's our power setup let's oh wait let's go over what we're fighting against right we're fighting against a 100 a 75 a 100 and these are the light ones uh then we go for a 300 a 300 and a 750 oh my 750 super big uh and we have zero urns available so no urn port no mining nodes so no mining energy our energy is the biggest problem on this map and uh i do have some ways around it which i did not do in the assault section uh which i would love to do after i thought about it um but there we go. If you want to see more from the assault, I will put that at the end again. Uh, please let me know, and let's get this show on the road. That's right. There we go. We're already building our towers, and we're flying around. Uh, because, you know, there's no point being on the backside. You know, we're, we're front boys. Uh, you know, and let's start getting some canons in place. That's right. I hope I hope a place is right. <laughs> I don't know. That one is a little close. Uh, but let's see. Uh, we do have good amount of energy coming in, so I think I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. We are in the good zone. Our energy is looking pretty decent. And yeah, I think uh, I think we have our base established. Uh, that one may die. Yeah, that one's probably going to die. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, you know, I'll put one just a little bit further back. This one's now going to keep it at bay. Uh, and as you can see, we've we've basically fended off our initial assault. We actually held a fair bit of towers. You know, I mean, we only lost this section, which is actually pretty good. Oh, well, end that. Uh, of course. Prove me wrong, literally as I'm speaking. So now we have the ability to start building even more towers, which is good. Uh, of course, we're going to want a factory as soon as possible, so I should be doing that as well, because, you know, our red-on is at 0.5, and it's never going to get bigger. It's going to stay at 0.5 forever, and, you know, it is what it is. It's a shame. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. We'll, we'll get through. We will muddle through. Uh, now, why is red-on so important? Well, 
it's good for shields, which is nice. Uh, I wish, I wish, I wish I could have more shields on this map. Uh, me say, that's me saying that. You know, I never use shields. Uh, but I'm trying to get better with shields, and they have extremely useful applications on this map for the assaults. Um, so yeah, shields, shields doing doing some good work. Uh, this tiny, tiny bit right there. And there we go. We've resecured our Island, which is amazing. Um, Louis land uh, for anybody named Louis. You know, it's, uh, you are Lou Island. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna lose this one. You jerk. Uh, it's just enough. Oh no, we didn't. Yay, success. All right, so we're doing fairly okay. Again, we do have some defenses that we can now apply. Uh, let's toss down. I don't know some of these. Uh, and you know what? We're also going to need more defenses because there's oh, i forgot to mention two spores doing a three and a two and three blobs so we have three blobs coming for our butts and we have two spores now the spores not very threatening because someone someone iron stone set them to random uh and i think you know my feeling on random uh not not very keen on it i do not like random spores no i don't uh they're not the end of the world it's just they don't they don't do anything <laughs> they, they're they're bad stop doing it you know they're not even a threat they're just there so random spores are a thing on this map uh so eh maybe one will hit our base maybe not let's start working on our mrf though because that's uh that's gonna be important although we get red on so slow we can start it essentially at any point in time uh, let's even start working on a porter. Oh my, a porter? Holy moly. I'm pulling out all the stops on this map uh, for things that I generally don't build. Uh, porters, shields, you know, it's all all the good stuff. All the good stuff, honestly. Uh, our deficit is relatively high still. You know, we're not doing the best. Uh, but, you know, we're pushing just fine. They're at the creeper cap, so realistically we're going to be just pushing pretty nicely. Uh, the big keys are these areas. Uh, if having things shoot into the essentially void is useless right like if this is actually shooting over here that's wasting energy because we don't want to push over here we want to push up here so that's essentially the big goal like this one shooting bad waste of energy don't need it done shoot where it's effective uh and there's a nullifier Boom. Uh, other thing to note no overload uh, sucks wish we could overload would help with energy in the long term too uh but, you know, that's not the end of the world. That I can forgive. I can forgive that. Um, I do have one refinery. We could build a second, but I'm not super hurting for a refinery right now. One is plenty. Uh, we may want a second later, but for now, for now, we're just in cleanup duty. Getting our first emitter. Not the end of the world. Again, it moves relatively... Oh, there's an egg. Uh, we did have the sniper in place. Uh, we need to move our snipers up, though, because I think it's time to uh, make sure none of the eggs actually get to the front lines, right? So let's uh, start doing that. And yeah, as you can see, look at this. I mean, like, no creep is actually pooping out over here. So we're doing we're doing pretty de decent uh, overall. And there's the nullification. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful all the way down. Uh, and let's just use some cannons. Clean this up so we have our, our full island under our control. Uh, we'll toss you over, we'll toss you over, and we'll toss you over there. So, keep the towers coming. Aww. Move you to the very edge. Oh, very edge. No, clean it. I think he has enough ammo. Yes, gorgeous. Okay, we have done it, which now means our snipers can take their perch on this very edge. Uh, why do we want snipers up there? Well, I mean, realistically, any eggs flying around, generally we get shot relatively early. Blobs, if they really gun for, like, over here, sure. I mean, may, I, you know, just for the sake of it. We have the energy. We'll toss one down. Might as well. Uh, we'll even toss down our rocket, uh, because, you know what? We're going to want a rocket eventually. And this is where... Uh, we can start building up defenses. We can also start... See, look at that. Look at that. Look at where they're going. Where are these spores going? <sighs> shame, 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 shame. Um, it is a big shame. We'll even toss down a rocket here, just in case, you know? Just so it could shoot those down. But realistically, again, shame. 
Uh, next would be assaulting here in terms of efficiency. As you can see, this is the, sm the lightest load uh, compared to here. And of course, these three mammoth piles. So north is next on the list. Uh, so going good there. Our Amreft is doing okay. Our porter is built, uh, which we will actually shift to, I don't know, uh, Arg. Arg sounds pretty good. I think so. Yeah, Arg right over there. Uh, beautiful. And last but not least, I guess the other thing that could be done, which may work, um, that might want to do one day, is have a porter backup storage. So for instance, if we were to destroy this, and then we put a bunch of porter drop zones in here, we could store up a big backlog of energy, you know, like a couple hundred uh, for when we do assaults. That's actually a viable way to do assaults as well. And you will see why in the assault mode. Again, our hold objective almost complete already. Uh, we need to build this M-Rift and an M-Rift down here in order to get our special item. So that's gonna be our next goal, is building this MREFT. Uh, this one refinery was enough for this crystal, so we're super good there, I suppose. And yeah, I mean, we're just we're just feeling pretty good. Uh, you are shooting the wrong direction, sir, because we wanna go to the north. Uh, these are doing pretty okay now. Uh, and yeah, we want essentially all of our focus on the north now, the north side of things. If they're shooting to the south, we don't want it, other than this one gateway, or pathway. Uh, so that's all we want. I'll leave you as added defense. Uh, but again, realistically, we just want to shoot the north. For the north, once we cut this off, this whole area is just going to die on its own. This emitter is not going to do nearly enough. Look at you. You're going out to the middle of nowhere. Uh, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, as you can see, no blobs made it to us because of our little sniper party, which is nice. Uh, and they're also keeping the eggs at bay, which is even nicer, if you ask me. Uh, and yeah, we're already we're already pushing into this little island, uh, and the main reason we want it is for power, of course. Uh, power is the big problem, uh, and this is where I would start doing multiple runways. Now we don't even have the power to support one runway, to be completely honest with you. We don't. Uh, we can't support one run one runway ever. That being said, I would love to have like 12 runways, because if you build them slowly, then you can store their energy inside. You can use one up, let it not resupply and then use up another one you know you can use them in tandem like that and that's how i would how i would now do the map um you'll see uh just one runway uh when i show you the assault uh save um but i would much rather have multiples uh we should also probably have some pylons at this point uh as well but eh, i'm just gonna move the base anything back here it's not that important honestly i mean it's the rocket which is just getting built, and that guy? <laughs> so, it's the rocket and this guy. Uh, he's a corporal, though, so, you know, he, he understands. Um, he's been doing it for a little while, uh, and now our energy is looking much nicer in terms of getting it to the front lines. So, we're holding, you know, we're, we're holding our own, that's the key, and we're still in a deficit. Like, we are shooting with a fair bit of things, not that much though like for for pushing power in essence uh, we did hold for our 10 minutes which is grand uh these are almost built oh okay it's like almost built they're you know two-thirds built but you know how it goes uh and yeah we've uh, we've taken the landing and by cutting this off you can already see this is starting to dry up not dry up but just slowly shrink down and that will continue uh, until we are done here, of course. So let's uh, make sure we get our juice flowing to keep the uh, the power going. And yeah, we're already well on our way to victory on this island. Are you able to shoot to the... Yeah, perfect. You are in a good place, sir. Uh, although, you know what? Let's just move you into a better one. Uh, this is holding nicely. This is holding just fine with the one. We'll even move you even closer. And yeah, we still don't have our first M-Rift. Now, that being said, has this been built at all? No, this is... Oh, no, it's getting its first delivery. Look at that. Glorious. Uh, so, let's see. Almost done. 189. <laughs> uh, so, it's going to take a little while. We still have a little bit of time, even though we just hit the 10 minutes to uh, get our item. 
uh, before we go to the assault. So again, I'll just show you what the assault was, uh, how it would go. Uh, it's not 100% set up, it's like a few minutes before, so we would still have some time to wait if we were to do it proper. Uh, but it would go over the plan uh, and why things are the way they are, in essence. Uh, we have curtailed this side, though, which is amazing. Oh, wow. The deficit was that high. Look at that. Perfectly fine, though. Uh, the nullifier's almost back online. Was not expecting that. was my fault. Nullifier, come on. Do your thing. Nullify it up. Pull a couple of these back. We still have all of our connections. Nullifier's back. We're good. As you can see, I mean, this creep is just diminishing and diminishing and diminishing. So we'll get our power back. And yeah, as you can see, power is the main issue. Uh, that. And. Like, I don't feel like I'm shooting with too many things. We're not even, like, even these are already built, so there's nothing left for them to do. Uh, the Amrift is built here. This Amrift has 50, I'm assuming, maybe 100. Oh, still at 50. So that's perfectly fine. Uh, and let's just end this now, right? Let's uh, actually start making progress on this side. I guess what we want to do is prob... Was that a blob? What did that? I don't even know. Move you up. Move some of the bigger guns that can shoot exactly where you want them to. Out. Up just to shoot. Just the edge. Perfect. <clears throat> and then we shouldn't really need that guy anymore. So hopefully with the more, just the mortar shooting, that guy for a little bit of defense, this should push back. And yeah, our storage is perfectly fine now. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Feeling, feeling pretty good. And now we can really expand our... Uh, our resources. Uh, we have so much in the bank that that's why I'm doing a large strip because I want to drain some of the bank. Uh, 200 is our cap, so you know we're not stopping at just 100. Uh, we're going to make a bunch of these, send them all over the place. They'll uh, start handling some of the cleanup because we do we don't want to necessarily lose our defenses, right? Uh, and once we get this land, we'll build up our air force, which is nice. Uh, again, it's just just a way to bank energy. That's, that's the way I look at these air, this Air Force here, uh, a bank of energy. So, it feels pretty good. Our uh, storage is close to going up again. I'm actually surprised. I figured it would once these were all built, uh, but it did not, which is fine. So, we'll just start sending them out, letting them there do their thing. Uh, clear up the first ring. Start clearing the second ring as we just swath over the creep. Uh, it's thin enough that they should be able to sort of handle themselves. Uh, and as you can see there, our energy is back in the in the good zone. So actually, it's in the too good zone, if you ask me. Uh, but you know, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, we got an egg here, which means we should have a sniper on the top because eggs are coming up over the top. So we'll just toss one like there, that'll be fine. Uh, move up just to guard, and there we go. Uh, we can easily buddy hop the rest. No more eggs should reach this area, and yeah, just just more power for us. So it feels pretty good at this point in time. Boom, boom, boom. All eggs being taken care of. I mean, this is actually taking care of eggs over there, which is not necessarily the best, but that's okay. Uh, again, like this guy right here, him shooting over there, bad. Bad for energy, don't need it. Realistically, we should be putting our energy to use. Uh, so something like, we're going to be fighting eggs here in a moment, so let's toss down, I don't know, five mortars. We're going to need them eventually, so let's just plop them down. Eggs will start popping anyway. Uh, although, I don't think I have the cannon to defend. There! Mr. Cannon. Uh, keep at least that one safe. Alright, there we go. Now with the mortars and everything, that'll be good. And then we can start with our uh, Air Force. Some bombers, you know. Start with that. You like a bomber here. 
two for now. Thankfully, we now have the mortars for support when the eggs pop. As you can see, the eggs do have quite... They are not tiny eggs. They are quite substantial eggs. Um, that is a fair bit of creep in them, which is nice. Uh, I do like me some big eggs, you know? Big orbs, if you will. Uh, and, yeah, we've taken this half. Again, with the mortars. Super easy peasy. And just clean up the little riffraff all around. Ooh, we're even launching the rockets. Look at you. You're doing grand. We're at two rockets launch, which is nice. And this, of course, nullification, of course, of course. Uh, nullification, nice and easy, like, feels pretty good. Uh, and as you can see, we've built... We haven't built many planes, but we have two probably completed. And ammoed, right? So we have two planes completed, uh, almost ammoed. We can just keep that up, right? I mean, we have the ability to add just one or two more planes, keep them, get them built, get them ammoed, do that over and over and over again, we could fill up 50 of these if we wanted it with that method. Uh, Emrift, how you looking? One, okay, so Emrift is almost done. Thankfully, we were able to get to a second island completed before the uh, item was collected, so I feel pretty decent about that. And I guess last but not least will be Miskals. We'll toss one there. We'll toss one over here. We'll toss one over here. And like one over here. Oh, there we go. You are on a rock in space that is flooded with creeper, yet you still get this. You people crazy. That's right. So this is where we're going to end the official playthrough. I just, I'm going to go over what the attack plan would be. Uh, but again, I don't want to take multiple, multiple hours uh, to do this for uh, the purpose of saving, saving you time. Right? Uh, plus, grab your energy down here. Might not be much, but any energy is good energy. Uh, you can even toss, you know, a missile launcher there and maybe a uh, a sniper. You know, I should have a missile launcher down here as well, but hey, whatever. Uh, let's jump away. See our time? Hey, we did it in 10 minutes. Look at that. We did it. We did it. We did it. Buzzinga. 10 minutes. Beautiful. So, but let's uh, let's check the... Uh, the assault plan again i do have like another minute out before or another couple minutes honestly like six or seven minutes before i would do the official assault but this is how we look i mean we do control all of the areas i did snag a sprayer down plopped it in a corner and it's just super slowly filling up again the blue light is not fast enough it's just not a way to really handle it uh we have our pile uh, at least a pylon network going on we have one airship. I should have multiples. Having multiples, uh, we could have another two up here, another one right there. We really should have multiples. Uh, but we have nine orbitals. And to do this effectively, I would want like 11 orbitals or so. 11 to 12, I think, is the magic number. Um, uh, we have one shield. Uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm actually going to build a second one just for the sake of demonstration purposes. Uh, we'll build a second. Uh, you know, let's build three. Uh, we have the red on. It'll take. It, it's not going to be perfect, but we're gonna we're gonna need it eventually, of course. Um, so all of these we're doing pretty good. Uh, most of these are set to eggs off for the snipers, so the, that's why there's a whole buildup of eggs here, and we want a whole buildup of eggs here. Um, and again, I'm not using everything efficiently, so like these two mortars right here, they're shooting into nowhere. They shouldn't be shooting. That's just a waste of energy, and we are gonna need all of our freaking energy. Uh, I can tell you that right now. Uh, the other thing to note is I should have my, all of these snipers a lot closer. Uh, and many, many more of them. I should have probably another six or seven here, another six or seven here. We want as many snips as possible. Uh, we will turn them all off of eggs. That will be good. Uh, these three I want to move up just because they're already built and I'm lazy. So there we go. And... Though the snipers are super important, super, super important for this whole thing. So now we have the assault. Uh, we can go for any island. Uh, we can go for the th this, this, or this. And as you see, this is a 750 emitter. This is the big boy. And I would rather get the big boy first, right? 
So to get the big boy first, you can even see I've already started. Honestly, these mortars, they're not really helping much right now. Uh, I mean, you can see it's all fairly level, honestly. Like, this one is a tiny bit lower, but realistically, this bad boy is what it is. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to start here. Oh, oh no. Uh, armed off. Oh no, I let, I kept them armed. No. Uh, there goes all my red on. So I, I wanted to build them, but not arm, but not uh, have them use up all of their energy. Uh, the goal was to have multiples at full. Uh, so now, we're, oh wait, just a slight second. Um, but you can see we are staying at the 10 cap pretty much no matter what. So our goal, we are going to just, we'll just, just do it. Let's just do it. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, I'm just showing this as an example. Uh, we are using rain. Uh, so we are going to rain here. We're going to rain here. And we're going to do a rain at the bottom. So uh, I want it to cover the emitter. Beautiful. And just one more over. I want it more towards the right because the mortars will be able to clear up like that. Whereas this side is a lot freer, of course. Uh, so now we have this. Now we have three groups of uh, bombers. Uh, I'll do create squad one. Two, three, four, five, six, create squad two. And had I had multiple air forces, I could do this with, you know, every single one. It's very nice. Uh, we're not going to use them yet, but I wanted to make the squads. And yes, this is our initial zone. We are going to want a landing party, of course. So we are going to need to go over there. But you can see, look at our energy. It is not very high. Um, but let's see. We're going to let things start dropping from the sky. And you can see the creeper cap is going to immediately start diminishing. Once it starts diminishing, bazinga, eggs are turned on. This is the key for this assault, is turning eggs on. Sounds weird, uh, but by popping all the eggs over here, look at this, we are popping all of these eggs. Look at our creeper cap. Our creeper cap is 10.1. This has basically been demolished, right? We have devastated this area. All the creep is now here, of course, so we do have to hold it. <laughs> um, but look at that. We've actually managed to clear out so much creep from over here. And with that in mind, we were able to supplant it into these sections. Now, look at our deficit. It's huge. So we need to now turn these off, unfortunately. Supply off. I'm just going to say supply off at this point. Um, so now we need to cancel out the deficit. And here we go. Look at that. The rain has done grand. Uh, now we need some dampers. All right. Dampers do wonders. The damper is one of my favorite things, especially for large bouts of creep or vats of creep. Uh, with this damper, uh, a little bit higher, tiny bit higher, and perfect. So we can see it covers from this entry point to this entry point and the emitter. That's the key covers both the entry points and the emitter. It's at 38.02, so we're going to need it in 30 seconds. Dampers last for 30 seconds. Um, and we're now able to start our assault, right? We're going to start flying in some units, uh, start flying in some mortars, clearing everything up, which is, again, very, very good. Uh, we do have no red on still, which is bad because I built those, those things and they're not really doing what I wanted them to do, which is, which is fine, which is fine. Uh, that was my fault, that was my fault. Uh, but everything is landing quite nicely, and you can see the creep is building up. So, this is honestly a great start, and look at this. I mean, you can see we are losing. That's probably a sniper. A sniper going down. Uh, I did move them very close, and you can see the creep is building up. I probably took a bit too much away from this beforehand for the uh, limit. Uh, we should have a little bit more in the way of defenses here, so that's uh, that's kind of my fault. Um, but look at how clear this area is right now, right? It's super, super clear. Uh, everything is what we want it to be, but we are in a massive deficit. Um, should have just had more snipers. Uh, that's what I did last time. I actually made more snipers, and I uh, just filled them with ammo and had supply off, and basically, again, just to save energy. It's all about cons conservation of your energy on these assaults. Um, energy is going to be the big uh, downside of basically everything in this map. Um, so we do need a bit more defense. Uh, unfortunately, I think the defense is going to fall. It's my fault. I uh, should have taken more. Well, I, was, I didn't fully prepare for this assault at the moment. Uh, it looked like it, but not quite. We do want to clear everything up. We want to get power to the people, of course. And 
how do we take this out? Well, of course, the goal here now is shields up. So shields move in. We'll say this one can go on. Uh, these two shields move up just a bit close. Uh, our base, see, look, we were able to hold. That's the key. Uh, and by pointing that out, of course, I let the damper fall, which is bad. You never want to let the damper fall. Um, so that's bad. Again, put it back up so it's like this. Uh, probably should have been a bit more to the left. Not the end of the world for this one. Um, although, unfortunately, I let too much creep out of the main pool. So we do now need to distribute our mortars uh, so they start hitting uh, where we want them to hit. And this is where the air starts to come into play. Had I had more air forces, I probably would have taken out that initial blob from that emitter. Uh, but because I didn't, uh, I didn't. So let's select the first squad, and we're just going to say do a little strafing run right there. I like a little strafing run uh, versus just putting it there, because when this spikes up, they actually drop it off to the side and not directly on top. And then uh, we'll take our other one. We'll select this squad, and we want this to be the back line, right? We want to prevent things from coming in. We want to prevent things there. Uh, I should have more snipers down here. I only have the three. So, you know, not perfect. Uh, these will have supply on. Good, good. And now, our entire goal... So hopefully, I mean, unfortunately, this, this shield is probably going to die. Uh, I didn't get there. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's make sure we power to the people. Uh, we're going to need another one, I think, in 10 seconds for a damper. Uh, this is good. The eggs are all going off the back, though. I should have had my snipers in place already. Let me turn eggs back on. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, see, they're shooting the wrong eggs. That's okay. Uh, we are going to have to monitor our energy of the nullifiers, too, because if those go off, bad news. Not the end of the world, but just bad news. So, we are here. We're doing decent. Um, the supply of the planes is also off. And now, again, I wish I had more like two maybe probably like two more orbitals um because another rain would be amazing we're not going to do another rain though we're going to do a singularity make sure that is selected and we are going to singularity like this the goal is pull all creep back right our goal is to actually deactivate this with it in the shield with the singularity pulling it back which is amazing oh the damper is literally about to fall um, and we just need to redamper. So I want it in a better place. So a better place is like there. Which is good. Jeez, uh, that, that one drop got the nullifier. So not letting it get to the nullifier is pivotal. <laughs> so protecting your nullifier, of course, is pivotal. Um, this is now going to completely fail at this point in time. Uh, but that's fine. Again, that's perfectly fine. You turn on these snipers go for eggs and that's what you do you sort of hop your shields get the eggs in the snipers as you want uh, not protecting the left flank the left flank is far less important and now that we're also doing this we also want to get our last squad involved again I would much rather have uh, another unit I'm gonna put the squad behind and our goal is to destroy this pillar and if we can destroy this pillar, uh, which we should be able to do decently about, um, we essentially win, right? Now, the problem is I lost the damper, uh, which is bad. It's bad. So by losing the damper, we're not going to get the nullifier. All right, I have another. Uh, this might be too late. I didn't realize I got another one. Uh, so that was my fault. Put it down too late. Going to lose the nullifier. Yeah. So, had I had I planned for it, you just drop one more damper down. The planes kill off the spike. The uh, the nullifier comes online, and then it's now just hold this. And that's the assault for the big one. And you can actually take the other ones the exact same way. Uh, but what's also nice is once you take this and you stabilize, you're actually starting to destroy the creep at a much better rate because this is you know this is the big boy. So so that's how I would do it. Um, if you actually want to see me wait another few minutes before this assault and play out the rest of the map, let me know. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I think the strategy is kind of neat. It's a different way to do things. You know, it's using orbitals to uh, maintain the 
Uh, creeper level, again, I would want to build more snipers. I probably would build more air force runways as well. Uh, just think what one more plane group would do to this creep over here. Uh, as well as if we popped way more eggs over on this side, right? Say we had another like 10 snipers here, destroyed more eggs. Boom, there you go. We are now in a position where we, were, we weren't we were using as much energy and we're able to uh, prevent this from spawning more creep. So it, it's a win, 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 win. Um, but there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let me know what you if you want to see more. But coming up next time is System Wars 6B to see where we go from here. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.